Recording. Hello, this is Robert Smith. I'm here in uh, Casablanca, Morocco. And as you can see, the sea is behind me. And so what I'd like to do is answer um, a few questions that I get from people. And one of the questions I often get is, how do I address problems? How do I address specific issues? How do I, um, how do I solve, you know, I try the tapping, it works a little bit, and then it doesn't, doesn't seem to fix everything, or they need to do a little bit more, or, or they just get lost in whatever it is that they're doing. Now here's the deal with the tapping process. It's a skill, it's a life skill, it's a healing, transformational process that actually changes your mind. It also goes in and changes internal representations. It works with the law of attraction. Now, most people don't understand what the law of attraction is. You know, they think if you say positive, 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 you're gonna get positive, and you could. But the problem is, is that inside you, there is resources, or there are resources, inside you there are resources that um, help you manifest and produce what you say you don't want. And the reasoning is, is because inside you, you have uh, experiences that would be considered negative, which, which are just what you have witnessed and experienced in life. And so the only way you get something different is you have to change your inner references. And then those references are the memories and experiences you don't like, you don't want, you don't want to look at, and you don't want to deal with. And, and when you start working this, I always heck, highly recommend get you a notebook, write down the experiences that bother you and affect you, uh, memories that you know that, that affect you, people who affect you, uh, write down your list, you know, the worst of the worst. What's your biggest fear? What is it you're afraid of? And as you do that, then you'll start creating life changes at the deepest level. Now for me, uh, it's hard for me to find memories and experiences to work on because I just don't have a lot of memories. And so one of my best healing tools is when I'm actually experiencing other people, such as relatives, uh, my children, uh, people who bother me, I mean events. And you know, as a practitioner, of course, I started and developed Faster EFT, using EFT at first, then NLP, then all this other stuff mixed together. I just use my clients to heal me. That means when they come up with a problem, I, fin I feel it, it affects me, I tap on it. So one of the great things that you can do with this process, this way of doing it, the way I did it, is you can watch the videos on YouTube. Watch my videos, of, uh, let what bothers you bother you, and then tap along with it. You know, when, you, when I'm working with somebody else, associate to it. Feel what you can feel. If you're watching TV and news, I highly recommend don't watching TV at all, but if you see the news and something bothers you, you tap on it right then in the heat of the moment. When you're dealing with coworkers or, or boyfriends or girlfriends or whoever it is that affect you, this is a great healing resource. The biggest problem that people uh, will have is that they're not actually addressing it when, the heat, in, when they're in the heat of the moment. And so if you address it instead of just feel it, here's the problem. Memories are affirmations. Feeling emotions are affirmations. Hearing your, what you say to yourself are affirmations. Feelings are affirmations. Visual pictures inside your mind are affirmations. So if you change your affirmations, you change what you feel, you change what you hold, you change what you look at, your life completely changes. This is where the real work is. This is the grunt work. This is the foundation. When you do this part in your everyday life, work on this, you heal that. You heal the problem, which is what you're operating from and believing and acting as if it were true. This is, this is the grunt work. So, so how do you change your problems? Again, it goes back to work in your everyday life, get your peace journal, work in the memories that you have, and as you work on these memories, you're gonna create deeper changes. It is, this is not for the faint heart. This is not for the weak. This is for the brave. You know, the cowards are the one who pretend like they don't have any problems and they won't look at their problems. They won't even admit that they have problems. And they definitely will run whenever they have emotional issues. But we don't do that. When you're crying, you tap and you cry, and you feel you're tapping. When you're upset, you feel the upset and you tap. When you're driving, and people upset you while they, how they drive, you tap. When you deal with the in-laws, the outlaws, and anyone else, your life changes. 
this is where it all begins. But I'm telling you, I get emails all the time. Hey, you know what? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting any changes. I need somebody to help me. Guys, help yourself and do it all the time, continuously. And so when you see like people who, have, who are bedridden, people who are severely sick and ill. So you have people like, like Grace and Diana and Alex. All these people were bedridden, terribly sick, and they did it all the time, every time. They'd lay in bed before they get out of bed. They tap hundreds of times. They tap when everything, anything that bothers them. They were severely ill, severely, and they tapped it through. And they didn't just sit and want somebody to come and fix me. They took complete ownership and they worked it themselves. And that's how you will change your life if you do it yourself. This is where your power is. If you want healing, Heal yourself. Of course, watch my videos. Tap along. Find you a Fast FT practitioner who is trained by me and also who will use this to help you create the changes. But there, it will not take the place of one thing, and that is you working on you all the time, every time, anytime something happens or bothers you. This is where you're going to pull yourself out. Now, if you need help, videos on YouTube. There's over 600 videos, lots of testimonials, lots of tapping, lots of instructional video there. Um, buying the ultimate training kit. Well, even if you don't want to be a practitioner, it has everything you need. Weight loss, you have pain, you have grief and loss, you have loads and loads of tapping stuff there. Find you a practitioner, fasterft.com, and just work on yourself. I hope this helps you. I really encourage you to keep tapping along. If you watch the videos on YouTube, get your notebook, save your favorites, write down what you learn, write down and do the exercises and heal you and work on you. And as you do that, your entire life will change. And that's what you're after is a real, real change. And the only way to do it is actually do the work. Nothing will replace that. And of course, you're afraid. If you know you're afraid, feel your fear, tap it away. Know your fear, feel your fear, tap it away until it's gone. That's how you're going to get your changes. It's, it's, it's the real work. It's consistency. It's persistent. Keep doing it. Keep doing it until you get your results. If it didn't work this way, try a different way. I hope that helps you. This is Robert Smith. I'm here in Morocco, uh, Casablanca, and the sun is setting, and you can see the waves and the amazing Africa. Huh? And you'll see behind me the Atlantic Sea. This is Robert Smith, the Atlantic Sea behind me in Casablanca in Morocco. Take full ownership, tap until it's gone, or until you pass out. Don't pass out while you're driving. Ciao. Bye. Hopefully that's good, honey.